The last few months at Rebel News, we've been fighting for one of our most important staff members because of an online campaign that tried to end him. Daniel, thank you for joining me again today. It's been a while since we've caught up and a lot has happened that the viewers don't even know about. Those that have supported you at StandWithDaniel.com. There is a whole part of the story since that infamous day where you stood up and protected me from a violent assailant. You did your job. This is what you say that's a good thing to do? Uh, look at you. You're going to pick on the girl. I fucking pick, on pick whoever I want, right. you fucking piece of shit. Oh, bro. What do you do? Look at me. <laughs> Did anyone want to talk me. to you at all? all right, mate, you're so Did anyone want the to virus, talk to you? The virus, the virus. the fuck up. Stand back. Can you tell us what happened after that incident? After that incident, there was a lot of online chatter going on. A certain prolific troll who had been encouraging followers with my name, my security number and the number of LRD to give them a call, make mass complaints, frivolous, vexatious complaints. And from there, I was called by police, uh, was told that they weren't really pressing charges, asked me to come in for an interview and I declined the interview and I thought that was the end of everything. But things turned a little bit weird at some point because it became very bizarre when you hadn't heard anything from police, but Lance was on there online saying that your house had been raided and that uh, your your firearms had been confiscated. It turns out Lucky Lance was right once again and you've now been raided and had your gun license suspended. I saw that pop up online and he had mentioned, um, which I thought was funny because nothing had happened, I'd had no word. He'd mentioned my house had been raided, which it had not. There was no reasonable cause for police to ever enter the property anyway. But he was boasting about how my firearms, I'd been raided, my firearms had been taken and which at the time of the boasting simply wasn't the case. Now, you got to ask yourself, how do I know that Daniel Jones has been raided and had his gun license suspended? How do I know that? He hasn't posted about it. It wasn't in the media. How do I know? <laughs> how do I know that? Because Australia's most prolific snitch. <laughs> there was no way anyone knew about what was to come. Police hadn't even contacted you, so you didn't know about it. But Lance Simon was online boasting about how your house had been raided and your guns had been confiscated before police even reached out. Correct. That's exactly what happened, yeah. And then not long after that, I actually did receive the letter from police notifying of a suspension of my firearms licence. What did you do? Uh, I spoke to police and because I, I was a bit bemused by it. I didn't know why it was happening. And that's where I was told by police I had to have the papers served in person. When I went to the police station they were saying my firearms were an exhibit that I had to relinquish them to the police station. I couldn't get them stored at a registered firearms dealer. So I asked the police if I was being charged. They said no so I willfully disobeyed that request and took everything to a registered firearms dealer anyway. And right after having your guns taken away, you soon after received also a notification that your security licence was under review. Is that right? Correct. Correct. Yeah, I um, got a please explain from LRD in response to the incident at, uh, what was it, out the front of Parliament House by the cafe there. Straight away we got you the best lawyer who specialises in this field. Tell us what's happened since then. Well, since then, um, and I'd like to thank that lawyer, uh, he is the best and he did an amazing job and since then uh, he did get the firearms license reinstated uh, with no reason uh, the plastic was just returned in the mail with a letter basically saying you've got it back that's it after months of um, communicating with LRD they produced no evidence for their claims and eventually a letter was sent just saying that all charges had, or all investigation had been dropped and the licence was clear. Which is fantastic news because I remember when this all went down, I promised you one thing is Rebel News will have your back no matter what. I told you our supporters, if they hear what's happening, you know, the, the targeted campaign to try get you really to get at me, um, the people will support you no matter what. And we haven't mentioned it till now. We've let it roll so it could play out. It's been an amazing outcome and we have used, thankfully, to the supporters at standwithdaniel.com. We've you know, we've been raising money for your Supreme Court action that's still going on, but we use those funds to get you the best lawyer and we're 
we're purposely not mentioning his name, not to turn him into a target because we've got him in our back pocket ready for each and every time. Now, two parts, the, you know, of obviously those, uh, that campaign was illegitimate. Are you doing anything about going after those who tried um, unlawfully to create that and to have you cancelled like that? I'm certainly talking with lawyers about the options on the table and um, what we can do about that insofar as what we can pursue and what we can do. I think it is important that we pursue each and every person who is behind that campaign and uh, we're going to make sure we do do whatever we can to hold them accountable. We're going to use the best lawyers each and every time. That's what we've learned at Rebel News, use the best lawyers and you get the best outcome. The outcome's pretty good now. We do have your other matter still in front of the Supreme Court, Victoria Police, the arrests, and we encourage people to keep helping us at standwithdaniel.com to ensure that we can, can take that all the way to the end. Plus, follow this through. What would you like to say to the people at home watching this um, who really didn't even know that they were helping you with all this, but have managed to regain your licence, regain your firearms? Uh, I'd just very humbled by it. I'd like to thank everyone from the bottom of my heart because it's um, it's just humbling and amazing that our people would support me in what's happened. Well, people love you, you know. After what happened that day and the professionalism you showed that day and, you, you know, you're a tough guy, I know. We've been in sticky situations. But people got to see it firsthand. And you became a hero at the rallies that I felt like I, stopped, I wanted to stop bringing you because you were getting all the attention. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, I had to put a no so selfies ban on while at work. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what they've got. Capture it. That's right. Capture it. This is police brutality in yeah. Melbourne, mate. That's uncalled for. He's a security guard working on the job. Did you do that to Channel 9? Did you do that to Channel 7? Did you do that to SBS and ABC? Did you? My members are trying to do it. And he's not an offender. He's not an offender. He's my security guard. Well, um, before we go, there is one other piece of amazing news because you were fine that day you were arrested. Yes. And we fought that as well. And uh, what's the outcome of that now? That was dropped. That was uh, all cleared, all dropped. That's gone. Withdrawn. Correct. We're just winning with you, Daniel, and we're going to keep winning with you because we know that uh, as long as we fight for you, that means you're going to fight for me and you're going to always be there by my side. And I feel... You know, I feel safe and protected when you have my back. Thank you so much, brother, for okay, everything. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure to know that uh, everybody at home and uh, our team, we will leap to your defence every time in the se exact same way you've leapt to my defence several times already over the years. So thank you, everyone at home that has helped us at standwithdaniel.com. None of this is possible without you. And um, till next time, let's celebrate these wins. If you love this story as much as we're happy about the news, make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, share it far and wide. Let the trolls know that no matter how hard you push, we will push back harder. And if you're willing and you're able, help the campaign to ensure that we can protect Daniel in the way that he protects me. Stand with Daniel.com. There's a long road ahead and every dollar counts.